Hey guys, let's do it. You come through uh -oh. me or you take your chances out there. Ain't nobody got time for this. Steal me a car. All right. Definitely not listening to this music. Stun, jump, stun, jump. Yeah. Woo. Look at that. All right. Actually, it's not that cool. Shit. Oh, man. Don't be so hard on yourself, Trevor. You're still a good person. Whoa, that is not okay. Someone's gonna have to pay for that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, cut the dramatics. You got social security and insurance. It's all good. I'll try taking the train instead. Oh, nope, that didn't work. Don't go riding on that long black train. Okay, what I need is a bike. Nail them. So I'm just gonna hide this giant sniper rifle in my pants. Tell everyone it's my dong. Shortcut. Whoa. 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 You know why people drive trucks like this? because they have little penises and they're compensating for it. Oh! And they're very sensitive about it. Come quick, boss! What's going on, Ron? They were here for you. Here for you. Who was here? For him. Them bikers. After you killed Johnny K. Uh oh And they damage my stuff, huh? They smash up my home, damage my soul. Oh my God! This, this. It looks exactly this, the this, same this, as before. This statue here of impotent rage. This fucking meant more to me than Johnny K meant to anyone, and they smashed it. Oh no, they broke it. Pathetic midlife crisis. They done broke hog it. Hog riding, shaven headed, fruity leather, chapped wearing, fucking asshole. Hey, I wear chaps. Assholes, Trevor. They are. They're chapped wearing. Assholes. You better watch it, Ron. I don't have to take that from you. Whoa. Hey. Michael fucking Townley, right? Bitch wife, two kids, 45, find him. I don't have Go much faith in Wade it's here. Big, big place, Trevor, there's lots of people. You are fucking useless. Glad Trevor doesn't have kids. Find Can't out talk to him that like that. Fucking robbery, all right? And if Michael Townley lives there or anyone matching his description, I'm gonna kill you and your fucking cousin. Am I being clear now? Yes, Trevor. Thank you, Wade. Now smile. Fact, people who smile live longer. Although I can't guarantee this is gonna reverse the effects of methamphetamine abuse. Run along. Oh, look at that body Run language. On. That's crazy. Shall we go? We shall. I cannot believe that they fucking destroyed my statue of impotent rage. The cheek, huh? The fucking cheek of it. Those cheeky fellows, those biker gangs. So cheeky. I gotta make a stop at ammunition. You're meeting me at the Lost MC's airfield. So right now I am currently living in Mexico and the roads are so bad in San Miguel de Allende that people take four wheelers around. It's insane. In your ear when I get a hold of you. Oh, what are you buying at the gun shop? I'm not buying anything. I need a sniper rifle with a high power scope. My body is pretty much a temple to beauty. I believe that a mirror and a healthy dose of self-awareness would go a long way in today's world. TP Industries. That sniper on your wall looks like it'll do the job. All right, bolt action That's sniper, here we go. You got a scope and a suppressor for this? Suppressor for a high powered rifle is pretty much useless. I mean, it's gonna drop it like 40 to 50 decibels. So it's still gonna be loud AF. But on a 22, it actually works pretty well. Yes, I've tried it. Also gonna need a hatchet, a hammer. Hmm, let me see. An antique cavalry dagger. If I could eliminate one word from the English language, it would be antique. Well, why is that, Sam? Because the word antique leads the elderly to believe that their useless garbage is actually worth something. Hey, immigrants work hard, so you don't have to. But seriously, immigrants outperform natives in almost every metric. Run! 
Ron, I got the gun. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. Roger that, Trevor. But you gotta look out, because there's bikers all over this airstrip. Of course there are! Two planes are touching down at the field on a weapons run. We're gonna wait till the oh. right time. And Sorry, dog. Apparently, my son saw someone beating a dog to death with a baseball bat this morning, but I'm not gonna say anything, are you? I'm up here. I'm up the tower, Trevor. Oh, yeah. I have quite a bit of experience climbing water towers, if I do say so myself. Cost me six months probation, community service, and my dignity. In there unnoticed. Should give you the time to plan a route to the gas tank you're rigging up to blow. Enough waiting. This is your moment, Ronald. Your time to shine, Ronnie. Your mind, I want you to remember that I'm watching you through the scope of a high-powered rifle. Right, Trevor. Right, right. Got it. Now relax. I think Ronald likes being treated like shit. Some people are just into that, I guess. I've met quite a few of them. You probably have too. Can you see me? You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. You got that right. These people with seizures are such attention whores. They are flopping around in public, making a spectacle of themselves. God, they're annoying. They got a guard at the bottom of those steps. Under the control tower. Okay, no rush on this. It helps to have like a sandbag or something to put the rifle on. Pop goes the weasel. Hurry it up, Ronnie. Okay, I'm starting to think that buying 1,700 rounds of sniper rifle ammunition was a bit overkill. In real life, that would weigh about 200 pounds. Quick, shoot out the lights on the tower above him. Can do. There's one. And there's the other. You got him. Now don't shoot the guy in the van until he stops and gets out. Wait, hang on. So if I'm going to shoot the guy in the van, then why did I bother shooting the lights out? Like, he's going to be dead anyway. It's like blindfolding somebody you're about to kill. I think he's just calling the dead guy. You can erase him now. He's out. You can put him down. Put him down. Just like my golden retriever, Leo. I ain't one to cut. You should have seen the look on his face. Yeah, I'm sure it was great. Hate to miss it. the control tower. Get him quick. You know I like quick. Yeah. So long, sailor. I'm sailing away. Oh no! Bottom of the tower. Another guy's on his way. He's down there amongst the bodies. Got him. Clean shot, Trev. What an ass There's another guy at the top of the tower. He's probably looking for his buddy. He's oh. seen the body. Take him out before he raises the. Guess they don't all have to be headshots. They all came tumbling down. Now, how's he going to know that? Cover me. You're in my crosshairs again. There's no one left to kill, so get over to that gas tank and plant the bomb. Nobody left to kill. It's like Detroit. Coming out of that building. I can hear him at that far door. Um, I don't see anything. Blind as a bat, mad as a hatter. Someone's coming out the far door, man. Oh, oh, there he is. But I do not want to blow up that gas tank. Well, I want to. I'm just not supposed to. Shot him right in the dick. Shoot! The guy had a buddy in the building. He's come out. Should have just stayed in the closet. I mean, the building. I'm fitting it. Just keep a lookout. And watch out for the tank. It'll go up if you hit it. All right, all right. I think someone's coming. Shit. This is it. He caught me. Ron. Ron. Your panic is contagious, Ron. Ooh, look what you made me do. Get to the chopper! Get to the chopper! Just fucking drive, you're bikers. Oh, yeah. Now, I think he did that on purpose. Somebody must have blackmailed him over some nude pictures. Boom! Help Ron secure the airstrip. All right. Yes, of course they know. Here we go, shotgun. Got 
Got him. Act. There! In the hangar! The plane! Look, I'll get it started if you can clear the runway. Alright, I'm gonna clear this runway like I used to clear out college parties. I always secretly wanted to join them though. Looked like they were having a lot of fun. But my wife would have been very upset, and so would the police department. You know, we had a lot of stupid codes, but it wouldn't have been a bad idea to have a code for reloading. I think I saw a man holding his bowels. Happens to the best of us. Now start that plane. Happens to me when I do deadlifts. You got it, you got it. Van isn't exploding the way it should. You don't make them like they used to anymore. Well, hello there. I'm hoping this change of management will be as painless as possible. Oh yeah, I'm sure this change is gonna be about as popular as when we started wearing body cameras. We all learn to love them eventually though. Rest of the guns must be on the, all right. the end of the runway. Whoa, this is insane. Insanely awesome. Hands up, don't shoot. That doesn't actually work. Whoa. He literally exploded. Like the guy I saw jump off a 14 story building. Oh yeah. Oh, nasty. That and that. Time to play some dominoes. Yeah. Stop those guys. Guys? No girls? We need to start the 30 by 30 initiative with biker gangs. Yeah! I'm excited. Karma job. Nice. Suppose there's room for a passenger. Good insult. So, what's this guy on the wings end goal here? These guns. Like, how does he think this is gonna end up? Hey, there's a biker on your wing, Trevor. I am aware of this. Well, you gotta get him off. Do a roll or something. Well, the man on my wing presents no immediate danger. Oh, there he goes. I'll do my oh, best to oblige. There I go. Oh, there he goes. Fine, I feel safe. Uh-oh. This doesn't look good. Come on up over the hill. You can do it. You can do it. Yes! Free and clear. What? What? I didn't even wreck. This is bullshit. This is the biggest fraud in history. I demand a recount. Huh. Looks like I just died my way past the hard part. That's good. Do a little roll here. I told my contact. Whoa. This is trippy. Oh, there he goes. Fine. I feel safe. All right. This is my first time flying, so we'll see how this goes. There's only two places this kind of hardware is going to go. And they are? Up north to our Canadian cousins, where the lost were likely to be sending them. Or? Let or me guess. Mexico. Those in the south are Mexican brethren. Nuestros hermanos. Ama tu vecino. Why would you make an assumption like that? It's obvious. Why is it obvious? Spell it out for me before I order you to fly that plane into a mountain. Um, uh, uh, because of where you used to operate. Weren't you pulling scores in North Yankton and running cargo over the border? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure I was. I used to forget stuff like that all the time. My wife would be like, oh, hey, what'd you do at work today? And I'd be like, honestly, I don't remember. I can't really remember the majority of what I've done for the past 10 years until something triggers it. Like playing these games, I'll see something happen and be like, oh yeah, I remember that. Military base coming up. Fly low. We don't want to show on the radar. You ever hear the term under the radar? It's a very antiquated term. Back when the radar systems pointed up towards the sky. It doesn't really work that way anymore. But I'm not a pilot. What do I know? What do I know about anything, really? Why the hell are you listening to me? Why are you watching me? 
because I am your entertainment. Drop the cargo near the boats, all right? Cargo dropped. They got the packages! Shipment... Mother Shipment successfully delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. Sounds reasonable. Race Ron to the airstrip. I could definitely beat him in a foot you race. You really do that to me, would you? Beat me and you'll see. Uh, I ain't a trained Air Force pilot like you. I can just mm. about get where I'm going, but I don't got much choice over whether it's fast or slow. Very and interesting. get better at it, or fly through a barn. Or would a barn slow me down? Yeah, it might do. Or it might kill you instead. Blow over the swamp, boss. So the guns are going to Mexico? Mexico, yeah. Guy in the boat is Oscar Guzman. He's in with Goose the cartels. Mile, but if whatever. there's a market, this could be a way to expand the business. Like I hadn't thought of that. We might be able to buy into Oscar's thing, but leave that to me, Ron. I'm sorry to ask this, but does your contact pay well for this kind of shipment? Because I've got those lawyer fees for the divorce mm. and my settlement costs. Oh, he pays. Better than any in this sorry country. That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay? All right, T. So old Ronnie's getting a divorce, is that right? You know, I've thought about this before, but then I remember I don't know how to work the washing machine. I'm just kidding, just kidding. I've never actually considered divorce as annoying as Rhiannon can be. Just constantly begging me to have sex, trying to grab my crotch. It's like, just leave me alone, woman. You know what I'm saying? I just wish women weren't so horny all the time, you know? Okay, I'd say it's time to bust out some rhyme. You ready? Let me think of one here. I'm going to try to land this airplane. Would be a lot easier over smoother terrain. But even if I wreck, I still won't cry because unlike real life, you respawn once you die. <laughs> oh man. Damn, I'm good at that. But did I let my religious views out there for a second? Sorry. All right, taxi the plane into the hangar. This should be easy. Guys, I was wrong. It's about as hard as I was during the beach party episode of Avatar The Last Airbender. Success! We did it! I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. <laughs> but there is no price for emotional attachment. That's the truth. I mean, you might forego your cut to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might. Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. We don't have time to dwell on that now, because we got more runs, Ron. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns. Yes, more guns, Trevor more guns. Phillips industries. Technical yeah. Mm -hmm. Managerial innovations, unstoppable. Unstoppable, unlike Ron. Booyah. I need to meditate or masturbate. <laughs> uh, wow. That's crazy. All right, I'm gonna finish this off with another poem here. Let me see. Let me see. I kind of like Trevor. He's got strength and skill. He once was a pilot, but now he's mentally ill. Yes, there are many privileges. All right, all right. But mental illness is one downfall of being born white. <laughs> Yes, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.